Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.14 Karma can never bind me, because I have no desire for the fruit of action. They who actually comprehend this truth about me are also never bound by their activities. Sar Ardhavarshini Even if Arjuna accepts the arguments given in the previous verse, he still may say to Bhagavan, But you have appeared in a dynasty of Kshatriyas, and every day you perform the activities of a Kshatriya. So how can I accept you as the non-doer, Akarta? In answer to this, Sri Bhagavan speaks this verse beginning with Namam. This action does not bind me, as it does the living entities. Although the living entity desires the fruits of his prescribed duty in the form of residence in heavenly planets and so on, I have no such desire. As the Supreme Controller, I am completely in my own bliss. I perform work simply to set an example. Those who do not know me as such become bound by karma. Sāradhavarshini Prakashikariti Sri Bhagavan is the complete absolute reality, composed of eternality, cognizance and bliss. The living entity, the jiva, is an atomic conscious reality, anu chit. Bhagavan is replete with six types of opulence, but the jiva, who is adverse to the service of Bhagavan, is bereft of opulences. Bhagavan is the master of Maya, while the jiva is subject to Maya's control. These are the differences between the two. The jiva can never, under any circumstance, become Brahma or Bhagavan. When the jiva performs Bhagavad Bhakti, however, knowing that Sri Bhagavan is all-powerful, independent, imperishable, and free from all desire, he becomes freed from the bondage of karma and attains service to Bhagavan in his constitutional spiritual form. This is the living entity's eternal position. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur quotes Krishna as saying, The path of karma, which is created due to Adrishta, fate, the unseen destiny of the jiva, does not affect me. Nor do I desire to enjoy the petty fruits of karma, because I, Bhagavan, am full in all the six opulences. Those who deliberate on the jiva's path of karma and on my absolutely independent nature, understanding that nature to be imperishable, are never bound by karma. By performing pure devotion or Shuddha Bhakti, they attain me.